Hi everyone, welcome to today's video blog. My name is Ryan Jones and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a trade that I took last week that has already paid off. It's paid off in the past and it's paid off this week already in the from the standpoint that I've already taken profits. I've tr dramatically diminished the risk and uh, I have a, a, an incredible probability of ultimately coming out with a pretty decent um, uh, win on this trade. So obviously this trade is in the season stocks, hence that's the uh, slide presentation that you see there. Uh, but nonetheless, let me get right into the trade and exactly what I did and how I found the trade. I think you're going to find it very fascinating and very encouraging as far as the opportunities that exist with this type of trading. So the seasonal trade that I took is in UAL. UAL is United Continental, and it has a strong, a very strong seasonal bias to the downside starting the fifth week of May. In fact, since 2006, it's moved down uh, starting the fifth week of May for the next two weeks 100% of the time. And the average move down during that two-week period is over 8%. That is a huge average move for just two weeks and occurring 100% of the time over the last 12 years. So I definitely wanted to get involved in this trade. And obviously uh, there is risk in every trade regardless of what the past has done. But nonetheless, what I do is I try to set myself up with a type of, of trade that will give me a very high probability of success uh, with absolutely limited risk, and then uh, manage it from there. And so what I did with this trade is on Friday, May 25th, right before the close, I bought UAL in the money puts and sold UAL out of the money puts. So I created a credit spread, only I did it uh, with diagonal. I bought July and I sold June. So it's a diagonal spread and it's a credit spread. So my the ones I bought were in the money. That gives me a higher delta than the ones I sold or out of the money, it gives me a higher probability of being able to bring in some premium, even if UAL were not to go anywhere. So I did this on uh, Friday, May 25th, because this was Memorial Day weekend. It's going to be a long weekend. And then by the time uh, the markets opened up after uh, May 25th, it would be in the middle of the uh, fifth week of May. So I went ahead and did this on May 25th. Also, uh, the markets tend to drop the day after. Again, that's a kind of a seasonal stat, but the markets tend to drop a day after Memorial Day weekend. And especially the later uh, that that Memorial Day weekend occurs in the month, the closer to the last day of the month. And so I wanted to be in going into the weekend. And so that, this is the strategy that I chose. And sure enough, by Tuesday... UAL had dropped almost 4% at one point during the day, and it closed down about 3%. So immediately this trade uh, worked out, and it's continuing to work out. And this gives you the, uh, uh, the projection graph of the exact trade that I made. I bought four UAL July 22nd 75 puts at 480. And I sold for UAL June 20th, 65 puts at 113. And there's a reason I did four, and I'm going to get to that here in a second. But what I did was I bought the July 22nd and sold the June 20th. And really, I have no intention of holding this trade past June 20th. Um, and I'll probably be out much, much sooner, especially considering what has gone on already. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, nonetheless, I sold some premium to try and just kind of give me a little bit more of an advantage in case UAL doesn't go anywhere. And even if uh, UAL starts to move in the other direction, give me a little bit of room with that. All right. So uh, the projection graph on this trade is very, uh, very favorable. But what I did was I went ahead and exited one of those puts at uh, or one of the long puts at uh, just a $200 profit. All I wanted to do was was mitigate my risk a bit. And then I also exited one of the uh, 65 puts at 50 cents for a $63 gain. So I took $263 in closed profits on this trade, which, which dramatically reduced my risk on the trade. 
to what you see here. And my profit potential is well over $2,000 uh, if this trade continues to move down or if UAL does continue to move down. If it doesn't go anywhere from where it is right now, I should make about $1,000 on this um, on this trade uh, just simply because of where the rest of the puts are currently valued at. And my break-even point is right at about 74. So in other words, UAL can go all the way up to 74. It's trading just over 69 right now. So UAL could go all the way up to 74, and I should still be at a break-even by June 20th. It's a very, very uh, solid risk-reward. My total risk on this trade right now is well under $1,000. It's at about, it's at about 700 a little over $700 um, on this trade. And the market has to just go ballistic in order for me to actually realize that loss. So it's very, very uh, low probability of actually realizing the loss. But I did one other thing, which I think you're gonna find fascinating, and it is fascinating. And what I'm gonna show you here is a comparison of what happens with uh, between SPY, which is the broad market, we'll just consider that the broad market, and UAL. So the difference between SPY and UAL uh, since 2006. And if I sell UAL and buy SPY as a spread during the month of June, the entire month, not just the two weeks that we're talking about, but the entire month, that spread has been profitable 75% of the time in the past by an average 7%. So what happens is, is you can actually kind of give yourself a bit of a hedge. In case the market does go ballistic, you have, uh, you have a long SPY position, right? So that's something that you can consider. And, and you'll notice uh, that in April, if you sell UAL and buy SPY, that particular trade has worked out 85% of the time in the past by an, a whopping 8.2% average. These two trades alone, by the way, just and there's no other dates going on, just those two trades alone during the entire month. So you do it, put it on April 1st, you take it off April 30th, and you put it on June 1st, and you take it off June 30th. And that's all you do. Those two trades alone, without mitigating risk, without um, diminu without taking profits, would have beaten 98% of every single mutual fund, hedge fund, and domestic stock index since 2006. Just what I'm showing you here. So it's it's very, very fascinating, um, the, the power of these kinds of trades. I'm going to show you one, another one uh, here in a minute. So what I did in order to take advantage of this spread was that I also bought a June 6, 267 call at 280. And the reason that I bought that a single June 6, 267 call is because if you uh, if you do the price, uh, divide, uh, divide the UAL price by the SPY price, and you'll see that it goes into it about four times, right? So for every four UAL spreads, I put on one SPY, one long SPY, right? So I have a, uh, a bearish spread in UAL, and I have one long call in SPY. So that kind of gives me my hedge. And uh, sure enough, what happened was that SPY moved up significantly, um, not on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, and, which was yesterday. And I was able to exit that uh, SPY call for a decent profit of $220. So now I've taken uh, $483 in closed profits and uh, I still have some risk because I now have three UAL uh, spreads on, uh, but that risk doesn't occur until about 75 and a half, 75.50. So UAL would have to move all the way up to 75.50 for me to break even on this trade. That's an 8.6% move to the upside. So um, it's very, very uh, solid uh, position at this point. And I went ahead and exited that SPY just simply so that I could move that uh, expiration or that uh, break-even level up. And if SPY moves back down, I'll be looking at an opportunity, which it looks like it's going to today, um, which is Thursday. 
I'll be looking for an opportunity to buy that option again or a similar option. I may go out a little bit further with the expiration date with the next one and reestablish that spread. That's what I'm going to be looking to do. And as you can see, this is a tremendous, tremendous trade, tremendous opportunity. Even if UAL ends up you know, just going ballistic, going skyrocket all the way to 80, my risk is less than 500 bucks on this trade as it is right now. And um, the probability that is very small, obviously. But regardless of what actually does happen, I would take this trade every day, every day that it that it's uh, available, right? Wouldn't you? So um, tremendous, tremendous seasonal opportunity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my th my secret three-step seasonal formula for extraordinary success in this blog. I'm going to go through systematically show you how I chose this particular trade uh, in order to um, place on a strategy that would take advantage of the opportunity. So the first step is that I need a stock that's ready to move. Uh, here is a, a combination chart of a particular stock, which I'll tell you about here in a minute. But this is a combination chart of every year combined based on that the movement of that during any day of the year, any week of the year, month of the year, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see, this particular stock, the, there is a strong, strong seasonal that begins during the month of June and goes all the way through the month of July. I mean, tremendous. The majority of the stock's movement to the upside occurs during that time period. That's a tremendous, tremendous opportunity. So that's the first thing that I need to have as an opportunity is a stock that's ready to move. And of course, the seasonal is the trigger of finding that particular stock. But I don't want a stock that only makes big moves when it does uh, move higher or lower if I'm going to the downside, which I did with UAL. But I also want a high accuracy rate. And so as you can see with this particular stock, during the week of July, or excuse me, during the month of July, the first week it's been up 87% of the time. The second week it's been up 90% of the time. And the third week it's been up 77% of the time. And this is since 1986. So it goes back a long way. And those are incredible uh, numbers for that long of a period with regard to a seasonal. It's a very, very strong seasonal uh, from the standpoint of the size of the move that it makes and the accuracy. That is that it has made the move in the past. And then the third thing, which I briefly already showed you, uh, was that I need the stock to perform better than the broad market. Right. If it doesn't perform better than the broad market, then, you know, why? Why get in? Uh, you can just get in the broad market. Right. So um, this particular stock has performed during the month of July better than the broad market, better than SPY. That's the one I compared it to. 79% of the time by an average of 9.1%. And the stock is Amgen, A-M-G-N, as you can see up here at uh, at the top of this graphic. So uh, so guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be I'm going to be looking to buy some Amgen calls, maybe put on a, a similar spread that I put on with UAL and buy a SPY put in order to um, to give me a bit of a hedge and offset some of the risk that is potential with that. And the average of this has been 9.1%. Uh, so Amgen has outperformed SPY during the month of July 79% of the time by an average of 9.1%. That That is tremendous, tremendous uh, stats and probability. So that's my three-step formula for determining which of these opportunities I'm going to get in. And of course, there are dozens of opportunities out there, just like the couple that I've shown you, if only you can find them. Uh, up till now, I should say up till now, up up until I had seasonstocks.com created, it was very difficult to put all this information uh, together. And now it's there in a matter of seconds. So we have what's called the Season Stocks Analyzer. It's online. You can log in and access it, Season Stocks Analyzer, and it uncovers and reveals every seasonal opportunity in any stock or ETF in seconds. And it is literally that fast. And it provides a wealth of seasonal information and statistics on each stock and or ETF. 
And there are a lot of things that you can do with this, including you can do custom searches. And I'll talk about each of these here. You can do custom searches. You can do yearly combination charts, which I've already shown you. Uh, the opportunities are listed by week as well. So it makes it super simple to check out the upcoming opportunities. Um, the yearly breakdown of seasonal moves, so you can see every single year and what happened with that particular seasonal opportunity. And then customized performance stats as well. So let's take a look at the uh, custom searches. The custom searches are simply you type in whatever stock you want to type in, and it will immediately give you all the information on that stock. So uh, there are a lot of of different opportunities that you might be thinking of and i'm going to just tell you right now this can be a bit of a uh, of an addiction you want to look at a certain stock you just type it in and before long you saying oh wow that's really cool that's really interesting i wonder what this other stock does or whether there's uh whether there's an opportunity in starbucks or when that might be or if there's an opportunity in mattel which there is by the way uh, or whatever your favorite stock is for that matter. Or maybe you get some ideas and you can uh, research any stock and ETF out there. So it's really, really a powerful uh, piece of the tool. And then the yearly combination charts are provided. And again, what it does is it takes the uh, total move over the past per day and it uh, it adds that up and it gives you a complete combined uh, seasonal chart. And so since 1986, this particular stock has moved up a total of almost $150 during the month of July alone. And it totally dwarfs any other time of the year. So the majority of the move has occurred during this time with this stock, and it goes back a long, long way. So these are really tremendous. Uh, this is a tremendous chart to, to be able to have. And then it also lists all of the opportunities by each week and so you can go to any week of the year at any time and check out all the opportunities and just scroll down the list and as you can see here there's 128 filtered results and it gives you the best ones at the top based on the accuracy and this is how i found ual is and this is how i knew ual was coming up is because it it uh, brought it up on the weekly list so um, that's a really powerful aspect of it and then it shows you year by year stats so you can see here percent move down every year has uh, been uh, tremendous in uh, in ual and so you can do that with any and every stock or etf and then it also allows you to create customized performance stats not just the opportunities that it finds for you but you can kind of um, you can kind of create your own uh, stats with regard to trying to decide how long you want to be in a trade, et cetera, et cetera. So um, what I did here is this is Pool, P-O-O-L. And Pool is a, uh, a company that is everything with regard to pools, obviously, right? So all the chemicals, all the equipment, everything that you need, you know, just to start up a pool uh, as the summer approaches. Well, that particular stock has moved up a whopping 95% of the time starting on January 16th all the way through um, April 30th. So about three and a half months since 1996, this stock has moved up 95% of the time by an average amount of $171 for every $1,000 invested. So that's a 17.1% move during that three and a half percent. This trade alone dwarfs 99% of all mutual funds, hedge funds, and domestic stock indexes since 1996. None, none of them even come close to that kind of average. And we're talking about one stock over a three and a half month period. And so what I did um, to generate these stats was I went to the, uh, the combination chart and the you see these tabs here at the bottom what i can do is i can scroll these tabs and give me a, st a start date based on when when the uh, chart looks like it's about to take off and then uh, scroll the other one and give me an end date and then i can go up here to dollar trades and click that and it will give me the stats uh, based on the uh, dates that i uh, scrolled these uh, these scroll tabs to and then gives me these overall stats based on that. So tremendous, tremendous 
tremendous tool and the opportunities here are unmatched with any stock trading strategy that I know of. Uh, this is, in fact, this is the only stock trading uh, strategy that I use uh, with regard to picking direction in the stock market. This is the only one. I don't use any other strategy uh, to determine whether I'm going to buy or sell a, a stock. Now, you can go to seasonstocks.com and you can subscribe if you'd like, uh, but you really want to take advantage of the discount. And there's a special discounted link available only if you watch this video and it's down below the video. Uh, you should see that link. So go to that link and you'll be able to subscribe at a huge discount and uh, start taking advantage of these opportunities as well. Plus, I'm going to give you access to powerful strategy videos that will help you maximize your potential gains while also minimizing your risks, much like what I showed you. There are a couple of other strategies that I like to take advantage of with the seasonal opportunities as well, uh, but this will get you started and give you some great ideas for how to take advantage of them. Again, special discount link only if you watch this video. Uh, it should be right below the, the video itself. Take advantage of that while it is available. Hope you enjoyed this today's uh, video blog. I'll see you next time.